Greetings, fellow zombie survivors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to the very first episode of Project Zomboid Nomad. There's a lot of complex settings, rules, and goals of this series, and that can be found in the description of this video, as well as the overview I will give in just a minute. This is Episode 1, Initiation Rite. Before I start, uh, there is a lot of ground to cover because this series has a lot more mods and a lot more rules than any of the other series previous. So I'm going to disappear for a second. So the lore, let me cover that. Uh, ten years have passed since the start of the apocalypse. The vast majority of the civilization has collapsed. There's barely any governmental presence anymore, just the rare aircraft sighting. Our community relies very heavily on the emergency broadcast network for advanced warnings about roaming hordes, raiders, and supply drops. But the network is failing. The Nomads are an experienced group of scouts who are dispatched to regions ripe with supplies and with broadcast networks that require maintenance. Our hero is a Nomad in training, parachuted into unfamiliar territory and forced to survive as an initiation rite. There are also some basic rules. No sleeping in cities. Cities are ripe targets for raiders and sleeping in cities is forbidden. No permanent housing. So we won't be setting up permanent houses. We will be using houses to hide from raiders and the like, but we're not using them as a base of operation. Uh, so nomad training forbids the use of houses for long-term shelter, and then no uncontrolled fires. Large fires will signal raiders do not set uncontrolled fires. So no mass burning of zombies or anything like that. The goals, find and upgrade a long range vehicle, find and upgrade a scout vehicle. Maintain the emergency broadcast network and prepare for the trip home by stockpiling food, fuel, water, tools, weapons, ammo, etc. All of the server settings, the rules, the goals, the traits, all that stuff, mod list, etc. can all be found in commands in the series in the title or if you're on YouTube in the description. And let's start. So I did poll ahead of time for some basic parameters. Uh, I put up the poll on Discord and the poll helped me to determine um, some of the settings that this series will take. So we're going to be custom sandbox here and starting in West Point. West Point was, and I was kind of surprised overwhelmingly the majority um, between the four starting setups. All right. As for rules, uh, there is a lot of settings here, and all the settings can be found in the settings command, but I have a preset called July. And I'll cover the biggest changes of this. Uh, zombie total count is lower. There's fewer zombies in the world. Uh, water and electricity are, uh, start off, so there, will no, no, uh, there won't be any electricity and there won't be running water. Uh, house alarms don't happen and locked houses are extremely rare because it has been 12 months since the start of the apocalypse. So what this means is that the majority of the zombies are going to have tattered clothing and look a lot more ragged. You know, um, food, fresh food is already going to be spoiled, so there's really no way for me to make certain uh, recipes that require fresh produce. Uh, then... Helicopters happen often and meta events often, so zombies get shuffled around, uh, but the helicopter event is a little bit different. I'll cover that in a second. Uh, the XP multiplier is higher, so that the things that my hero has to do, I don't have to grind for as harshly. Uh, so it should be a lot easier to level up uh, crafting skills and the like. And I do start off with 15 free trait points. The reason being, in the lore of this series, we're supposed to be an experienced uh, scout and therefore uh, we're starting a little bit stronger than a base character but don't worry it's plenty hard uh, rear vulnerability is low and weapon multi hit is on mini maps are allowed vehicles uh, recent survivor vehicles what this is is like a vehicle where the, it was cared for by a survivor uh, that is raised up a little bit and it's extremely rare for cars to be locked now, here is a big change. Um, the lore of the zombies. So the zombies are not shamblers. They're sprinters. Uh, you can barely out-sprint them uh, when they are going full tilt. 
but they're only sprinting during the day. So during the day, zombies cannot be outrun, out sprinted, no way. Uh, during the night, they're slower. And their cognition is raised, which means that they understand how to go around walls and through doors and the like. They can't open doors, but they'll understand that bashing on a door is going to get them to you faster. So zombies are a lot stronger than a normal game. Population, of course, is lowered. Uh, vehicles can be recycled. For the expanded helicopter events, it's not just the random helicopter that kind of follows you around. There's different types of events. Jets that fly by, police helicopters, survivors, military, raiders, etc. Uh, I didn't change anything in the more traits mod. And then there's the skill recovery journal, and I didn't change any of those settings either. The skill recovery journal allows you to journal your experience, and then if you die, you can recover your journal to regain the experience that you had lost from death. And that was, of course, voted on by all of you as well, or by the ones that chose to vote. As far as the character goes, this is Nomad. High thirst, slow healer, hearty appetite, smoker, weak stomach, slow reader, dexterous outdoorsman, expert driver, which means vehicles move faster, make less noise, and handle more efficiently. The concept here is we're supposed to be a very capable driver, as that's part of the main occupation of being a Nomad. Organized, so the containers that we have can include more, including car seats and the like. A restful sleeper. There is no penalty for sleeping on bad furniture or even on the ground, and you automatically wake up when you're fully rested. Pack meal. You carry more. And athletic and strong. And then our hero here is James Exix, uh, who's, yeah, looks like this. So we're going to be kicking this off. If you have any questions, let me know. And I also have a goals overlay that I will flash up every now and then. So here is our big goals that we have. Uh, obtaining a long-range vehicle and a scout vehicle and maintaining the broadcast network. And let's hope that we make progress. And you can see my current priority is to find a weapon, food, and transportation. And I'll be explaining the scout vehicle and the long-range vehicle as well. So a scout vehicle is a daily driver, one that you take for errands, and a long-range vehicle would be something with a lot more storage. So a sedan versus a giant truck or something like that. And you guys actually will be deciding on uh, what sort of vehicles that I use, but there is a preset type of vehicle that will be allowed and you, this will make sense. Also, what do you mean by maintain the network? So the emergency broadcast system in this uh, scenario will go down and need repairs. Uh, so that you'll stop getting weather and helicopter reports and things like that, unless you maintain the emergency broadcast system. So here we are in West Point. And right at the start, uh, it's obviously going to be early morning. And I think it's probably important for me to note that uh, zombies are stupidly fast and will absolutely murder me immediately if I am not careful. So let's be as careful as I can. And grab... Hopefully, oh man, there is not a lot here. Ooh, melted ice cream. That will be good. Okay, first books. So we have cooking one, fishing one, trapping three. Cooking one. Ooh, I can't write on my mouse pad, can I? Cooking one, fishing one, trapping three. And I don't think I'm going to leave these here. Um because the starter home is really only a starter home, so I'm going to be moving around a lot. Oh, a meta event already. Hearing people scream. Oh, look at my beautiful skills over here. And I'm just reading the electronics magazine for motion sensors so I can throw it away. It's too bad I'm a slow reader. Am I playing with sprinters? I am. I am playing with sprinters. If you uh, if you want to see the full settings, you can do exclamation mark se uh, details, and it will show you all of the settings. But yeah, outside, there are sprinters. Uh, a 9 mil pistol. I'm going to carry that for now, but that's probably going to be one of the first things I toss by the wayside, because uh, they're 
they're, you know, weigh a lot and draw pe uh, zombies in. Oh, and I already have the emergency broadcast system uh, frequency, which is 88.6. Nice. Turn that on, lower the volume. Actually, I'm going to fully grab it. Bring that with me. I don't know what time it is, and I only get broadcast top of the hour. And as you can see here, the world, uh, due to the mods that I'm using, it is 10 years later. So the world is overgrown and ruined. Uh, windows are, some of them are boarded up. A lot of the doors are broken down. It's not a typical uh, experience at all. Yeah, looks very different. Okay. So I must be, what building is this? Is this a school? I think I'm across the street from the school. One of the mods that I have here uh, gives a map legend. So the map legend mod shows you what there is, residences, and then community services is probably a school. I think this is the school. Uh, the school is likely completely overrun by sprinters. So that is not even something I'm going to consider entering until nighttime. And we have some more books. So Mechanics 3, that's going to be really helpful. Uh, the skills that I'm going to have to mostly focus on in this series is going to be Mechanics and Metalwork uh, to be able to upgrade and maintain vehicles. And then we also have the uh, how to make Dadge uh, parts, which is a type of car that is included. I'm also going to grab this comic book because comic books are pretty powerful. It would be great. Oh, hand torch and screwdriver. Oh, and there's something hidden. Unfortunately, the hidden floorboards has nothing in it. But at least I knew to check it. More canned goods. I'm leave the dog food alone. Oh, a meat cleaver. Yep, this is a brand new series. Saucepan with water. That's convenient. Empty cooking pot I'm going to grab. So the em empty cooking pot is uh, something that's on my uh, items to loot list that I get to check off. And then another thing I'm going to have to do regularly until I find a container to store water is to just drink everywhere that I can. So we've got metalwork one. Uh... Tailoring one. Oh man, these books are amazing. Uh, farming two, cooking two. I feel like I'm playing bingo. And then this is for Indian idiot mechanics. And then that's trapping one. Farming magazine, which is awesome. And the the weather service uh, registry. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. I don't believe any of these VHS tapes are things I need, though. So let me show you the registry while I'm in this room. So if you read the map, the registry shows you where the weather stations are. So I am in West Point. Uh, so there should be a weather station West P88 here. There's one in Maldra, one in Rosewood, and run in Riverside. And there's also a fifth one that is not on this map. A secret weather station. Uh, here is a Darumba van blueprint for parts. And I'm going to take the journal. So I'm taking the journal because one of the mods that I have included allows you to journal your experiences. And if you journal your experiences, uh, it allows you to retain experience post-death. post death post But I don't have all the materials to craft one. Not yet. Earbuds is good. A spare long sleeve t-shirt and spare jeans. So the reason I'm grabbing spare clothing is the clothing that are going to be found on zombies are mostly going to be completely torn to shreds because it has been 10 years. 
Uh, so clothing, I'm going to have to treat a lot more carefully. Uh, one of the reasons for earbuds is I can hook earbuds up to the radio that I'm holding and listen to the weather reports without it actually producing noise, which is uh, pretty handy. So drag the earbuds over here. And then if I turn this on, only I hear it. No one else does. I do hear some zombies around. Uh, let me grab the pencil as well. Sarah, thank you for the bits, and I'm glad you're excited. I wanted to get back to some PZs, so... I'm pretty sure there's a zombie... Oh, there it is. So as you can see, yeah, you're not going to really be able to easily outrun these things. They are fast. And this dude had a wash. So if you take a look at the clothing, shredded, sh uh, shredded, you know... There's not a lot of clothing they're going to be able to grab from these zombies that won't be destroyed in some way. Oh boy. That was two. With the settings that I have, it becomes very difficult to try to kill any more than two zombies. Standing on one and shoving the other. Three zombies is somewhat fatal. Now at this point... Uh, everybody that's left alive basically has immunity. So these zombies can't kill me with just one bite. But I can get outnumbered and overrun and g dragged down and, and killed in that way. So I gotta be very careful. Also, my carry weight is starting to max out, so I'm hoping to find uh, some method of carrying things. And if I am where I think I am... Oh, there's a zombie right across the street. If I am where I think I am in West Point, and this is the school? No, this isn't the school. Where am I? The trouble is the uh, PZ map online um, looks very different because everything is so extraordinarily decayed in this series. Just got to be very careful. Oh, uh, yeah, this is an on emergency broadcast. Thank you for that. There we go. It's not going to play for another 40 minutes, though. Look at you move. One of the funny things about these zombies that sprint around is sometimes they move so fast they just fall down on their own. Alright, so this was my starting house. I'm going to pop back in there and start marking down the maps. Wow, this symbol is way too big. Uh, oh well. Now let's try the house that's just north of me. Reminds you of 28 Days Later zombies? Yeah. They're very fast and very mean. And honestly, just doing any exploration during the day is a bad idea. But at the start of the game, it's not like I have a lot of choice. So which door is getting... I think it's this one. Nope. A leash! I'll check the... the juice box. I'll take that. I'll check the uh, bookshelf later. Took the ice cream. There's a lot of stuff that I'd like to have that I just don't have carry weight for. Not yet, at least. Oh, man. Uh, Alright, so map... I'm going to want to return to here. Can opener. I'm going to take that. So let's mark down can openers as, as obtained. You know what? How is can opener not on my list of things to grab? Okay. Well, I wrote it down and crossed it off. That's felt a little weird. Sarah, thanks for even more bits. Where'd my food go? 
I think what I'm going to do is probably ditch the... This is an empty magazine. I'm going to ditch the gun and start ditching things that are absolutely not necessary for me to carry around. Yeah, this gun doesn't even have bolts in it, so it wouldn't be helpful anyway. Where is this dude? Maybe he's behind this door? Oh, this is so creepy. I can hear one moving around, too. I think there was one outside that window. I'm gonna slowly leave that, uh... The house? I'd rather fight them outside. I think they were bashing up against a barricaded window, yeah. Oh, you have a hunting knife in you. I will take that. Thank you. And let's favorite that. With how fast they are, I don't think that, um... I don't think that uh, using melee weapons that aren't really powerful are going to be better than just shoving them to the ground, though. Alright, I can hear a zombie around here. I might try to whisper to it. I think it's bashing on that door now. Now, these zombies are smarter than vanilla zombies. So, they are better at pathing to me than in default uh, Zomboid. We gotta be very mindful of that. Yep, there's two of them. Come on out. Is this a cop? No, I don't think so. Well, I'm glad all four of those didn't try to jump me at once. Oh, look at that. It's a textureless salad? Yep. <laughs> Let's leave that alone. All right, so I did mark this uh, area to come back to you. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is mark down the books that are here and then leave all my books here so that uh, I come back. So forging one, farming one, metalwork three, and first aid three. Because at some point, these skill books are just going to become too cumbersome. So I'll probably just read uh, Tailoring 1. That's probably the first one I want. And let me get through these magazines, too. I'll go into a room with no vision. Man, I can't even reach this curtain. Guess not that room. So I read Intermediate Mechanics, Farming Magazine, Hunting Magazine. The Dadge Car and the Darumba Van. Done. All right, we're looking pretty good. And what I might end up doing is just keeping... Oh, mechanics too. Nice. I might just keep everything that I don't need on my person. On this bookshelf here. For later. Even putting the canned goods away. Just to build up a supply of stuff. It's not a base, it's just storage. 
All right. I'm favoring what I need to favorite. So there's another building to my west. Hey, Yoda. They want me to pet you. Then I'm going to head over to... So if you're wondering when nighttime formally starts, it's 8 p.m. That's when the zombies are going to slow down, and then at 9 a.m. they speed back up again. So when it's dark out, the around dawn and dusk is probably the best times to hunt, because my visibility won't be hindered, but their movement speed will be. You just fall over. Thank you. Thought I heard another one. Maybe not. Yeah, I can hear another one. Is it possible to change my HUD so I can you can see in-game time and condition? Oh yeah, uh, good call. All right, let me um, I might be able to change that right now. Give me one second. I don't know why I left that there. I'm not entirely sure if that will carry over to the other scenes. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, one sec. Just got a little do a little uh, interface rebuilding here. You know how it be. Tested but not verified. There we go. All right, I am being stocked. Ooh, maple syrup and pickles and mustard. Peas. Oh, a water bottle. That's going to be helpful. Let's get that favorited. Chili. And it is officially cigarette o'clock. Quite a departure from Homestead. Oh, I know. Now I'm a uh, complete lack of a home. Ooh, mech one. I like that. So now I have mech one, two, and three. Which is really nice. And before I leave this house, I think I can officially cross it off. Whoa! They really don't give you a lot of time to react at times. Like, you have to be so careful. So where am I? This is... Okay, I know where I am. Um, I am just north of the school. So the sweet shop is actually not too far from me. What I really want to do is try to find a proper weapon. Uh, food I have been finding. And then a vehicle would be phenomenal. Because the only way to outrun a sprinter is to have a vehicle. I should probably start pulling curtains in this room. If I'm going to treat this as my, um, sort of pseudo temporary base, helps that uh, zombies don't come and go freely in this place. All right, here we go. I'm probably going to dump the other shelf. Oh, I missed this magazine. That's a real helpful magazine. 
That's the advanced magazine. Uh, those magazines come in help handy later when you're trying to tune cars to armor them up and make them powerful and protected and all that. Uh, those are the magazines that are that are required. All right, so it's 5 p.m. I have three more hours until nighttime. Oh, this is an annotated registry. So it has the lo possible location of yet another weather station. Um, looking like it's uh, northwest of Rosewood or so. West of Rosewood. Something like that. I should probably keep the annotated one with me. Instead of the regular one. There we go. Rev, thank you for uh, answering that. So, gifted subs are just ways for people to support the channel. Where they gift out a sub to someone else, and they'll have that sub for a month. And they'll have all the benefits of the sub. And there are some benefits. Like being able to propose games for me to play, and... Um, that kind of thing. Out on Discord. I feel very vulnerable. In about uh, 30 in-game minutes, I want to turn on my... Well, I'll just turn it on now. So you can see what the emergency broadcast system looks like with this mod enabled. The mod is called Save Our Station. Where the weather stations... Oh, hello. Diving out the windows. Alright, and there's you. Come on. She fell. <laughs> I hear more in the book. Yep, there's another one. You can see the trees wiggling. And here is a broadcast. So you'll see how it's different at the end of it. So we've got the typical weather information now. Forage five. All right. Some tea storms on the horizon. And then emergency broadcast integrity. So that is the integrity of the infrastructure of the emergency broadcast system. Or in other words, how damaged is it and doesn't need repair. Uh, farming 2 I already have. First aid 5 I will never use, but I'll grab anyway. Fishing 2 I did need. Metalwork 5 I did need. Trapping 4. Okay. Oh, yes. Canned goods. Can't go wrong with that. Four melted ice cream? Hello! Okay, I hear someone trying to break out upstairs. Ebony, I'm glad that you could join me. I'm happy to keep you entertained. Oh, wow. Just like that, huh? I'm glad they didn't choose to jump me as it transitioned from bottom floor to top floor. That would have been scary as heck. A fresh leather jacket. 
Wow. Wow. That is a good find. I don't think fingerless gloves, uh, no, they do cover. They just need a bit of, um, tailoring. Neat. Didn't know that. Long denim shorts are also pretty good for armor, but I do have spare jeans already. We got vitamins. Nice. So typically in Project Zomboid, you are alone unless you're playing multiplayer. In this series, I'm role-playing as if there's other people, but there aren't actual physical... Well, no, that's not exactly true. Um, you'll never see another person, but you will hear them scream, hear their gunshots, or see them as they fly by in uh, airplanes and the like. Padded pants. Those are really warm, aren't they? They're like uh, snow pants. Why someone in Kentucky has snow pants, I have no idea, but uh, I'll take it. Now, where's my mushroom suit? Here it is. I hear some pretty creepy noises coming from the west, but I'm going to say that this house is cleared. Pretty soon here, uh, I will... How should I spend the early night time? Seeking out weapons, heading to the school for bags and books, seeking out a car. I'll let you all vote. How do you think I should spend it? When the zombies get slower, as it hits 8 o'clock, what do I do? You can vote. I'd really like a door here, but I don't have a hammer yet, so that's impossible to uh, to get just yet. I'll keep the vitamins on me, just in case I need an extra boost of vitality. So, if it hasn't occurred to you already, my character is more or less going to be nocturnal. As these zombies are a lot harder to kill during, or a lot faster in the day, it's best if I'm active at night. And it is officially that time, so... Let me pop this can of peaches open, and then I will demonstrate how they're a little bit easier to deal with at night. They're not weaker, they're just slower. Yeah, kind of like I Am Legend, exactly. Exactly. And it looks like uh, heading to the school is currently winning, but of course you could always change your mind or tip the scales with voting. So this is a sweet shop. Ooh, there's a car right there. Let me uh, head over and check out the cars. Because I'm standing right here. So this is one of the modded cars, and it's very cool. I'll just tell you ahead of time. You can armor them up, and... Equip mods on them. All sorts of really cool things. And the short and long-term vehicles that I have are going to be up to you. But they're going to be required to be uh, this style of vehicle. This is a Jeep. It's a locked Jeep. Oh, with broken locks. Trunk's open, though. So here, because it's nighttime, you can see the um, the zombies are back to their sort of normal shambling self. 
I mean, still easy to get overwhelmed and outnumbered, especially at night when it's dark and you can't see where you're going. And at the moment, there we go. Yeah, I'm not making any progress here. Without a melee, a proper melee weapon, it's hard to separate them out and to kill them, as sh the shove and stomp method only really works when you have like two at most. Right, let me bounce out of that. Um, well, the hunting knife isn't going to do me any favors. Ooh, this card's open. Come on. Oh, one's already a crawler. Look at that. Splat. I hate when you have an opportunity to uh, shove one over and the stupid zombies won't fall. Hey, Chris. Thank you for the resub. Here, you chase me. There we go. No, stomp! Ah, I hate you! There we go. Okay. Finally. Uh, let's see if the sweet shops have anything... You know what? I don't think I can get in. Yeah, I can. One of these windows wasn't barricaded up. Peanut butter, marinara, hot sauce. All right, it looks like you guys want me to head to the school. So I'll update that. As soon as um, I finish up in here, I'll head over that way. You know, there's actually more stuff that I won't even have space for. What I really want to do is to See if there's... Here, I'll grab a few canned goods so that I can feed myself. Oh, look at all this candy. Man, rock candy. I hadn't thought of rock candy in like so long. I wanted to check if there was a... Weapon or something back here in the tool cabinet. More canned goods. So there's a lot of food in here. Um, so I'm obviously not going to mark this cl as cleared. Are there nocturnal moodlets, like in RimWorld? Um, there are in mods, yes. Without mods, uh, no. The... What dis disincentivizes you to be out at night in Project Zomboid in under normal circumstances is the fact that it's dark, so your... your cone of vision is a lot lowered. And therefore, it's just a lot easier for zombies to sneak up on you and gank you. Uh, there is a water cooler there that I'm going to want to go back for at some point. And I'm starting to get drowsy as well. I'm not going to lay into my... Um... Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm not going to lay into my... Uh... My vitamins just yet. To combat the drowsiness, I'm just gonna be drowsy, it's fine. What I eventually want to get on is a night owl schedule so that I can more easily uh, search at night. So those scissors are gonna be really helpful, let me mark those off. I don't have a needle yet, but scissors are really helpful for getting thread and leather stripping for tailoring. So this here is the library. Oh, 
Oh boy. Come on. Yeah, see how it's getting darker and darker and darker? Let me make sure there's no zombies in here before I start poking around the bookshelves. Yeah, I'm good. So, we've got Carpentry 1. Electric 1. Electric 2. Let me grab those before I start moving down the list. First Aid 2. Fishing 2. I don't need Fishing 2. So, First Aid 2. I already read that. Mech 1, I have it. And then Metalwork 2, I need it. Next shelf. Uh, let's see. Carp 4. Got it. Elect 3. Mech and Metalwork I already have. Fishing 1. No. Metalwork 4. No. Wait, no. Metalwork 4, yes. And then this is the Fjord Four Mustang blueprint magazine. Okay, next shelf, Carp 2, and Antique Collectors, Mince Corpse into Fertilizer. Delicious. All right, Forge 1 and 2. I did need Forge 2. The Diodostics Manual is going to be really important for me to have. Tailoring 2. Awesome. And tailoring five. So the only beginner book that I don't have so far is first aid. So that's what I'm looking for. Electricity five. Some engineering magazines. Tailor one, trap two, trap two I need. And herbalist, which is really good. Really, really good to have. Next shelf. Oh, I already read that. Oh, well. Farming five. First aid one. And none of these other books I need. Now, I am getting encumbered, so I got to be careful about that. Not to get over encumbered, because then I can get chased down pretty easily, especially during the day. Don't need any of those books. Electricity 4. Got it. I have all electricity books now. And that's another Fjord Mustang. I already read that. Mech 1, Registry, Hunting Magazine. I think I just grabbed one, but they don't weigh very much. Trap 4. I have already. So none of these books I need either. Uh, so there is the truck magazine. Nice. And then tailoring three, I need it as well. Cook five. Got it. And that's it. Didn't I have a flashlight? I must have put it away. Because I am not seeing very much right now. Oops, I didn't need two copies of that. So, first aid, don't need it. Fishing four, probably. Yep. Forge three. Yep. And a medical magazine to improvise painkillers. That's great. Next shelf, and I'm almost done. Taylor four, I did need, and that means I have all tailoring. And none of these other books I need. Okay, mech four is a yes. And that's it from here. Yeah, I'm not feeling like an abundance of safety uh, in the dark like this. <laughs> but, you know, you just gotta, gotta take the risks. Sometimes. Oh, I also have all metal work, don't I? Herbalist. Some of these magazines are duplicates, but they don't weigh anything, so it doesn't really matter. Or they weigh very little. Um, oh, there's the Jeep magazine. 
and none of these I need. Except for Carpentry Volume 3. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Nomad, which originally streamed live on Twitch July 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Stay safe out there, my fellow zombie slayers.